The Chinese-owned port of Darwin has emerged as a barrier to restoring relations with Beijing. Tensions over the Blue Bridge between the nations may delay the easing of trade sanctions on Australian exports. According to a Chinese official, the review of China's ownership of the port must come to a quick conclusion as it threatens to destabilise bilateral ties. They say the port's owner has struggled to obtain finance from Chinese banks amid doubts over its tenure. Well, joining me live is Perrin Davey, Deputy Leader of the Nationals and Shadow Minister for Water and Emergency Management. So, yes, what is your take on this, the uncertainty over the future of the Chinese own port of Darwin? Yeah, well, I, I totally understand the concerns about certainty. Uh, there is currently a review going on into the ownership of the port of Darwin. Uh, that review needs to be finished and finalised as soon as possible so that people know where they stand, uh, you know, whether uh, it's determined that the current ownership is solid and sound and, and can be ongoing or whether changes are proposed. Either way, we just need to have this finalised so people know where they stand. Uh, as you said in your, your intro, the uh, own, current owners struggling to get finance. It's really limiting any opportunity of... Uh, further development or upgrading at the port and it's putting the whole situation in a, a form of limbo which is no good for anyone. It's no good for our exporters, it's no good for importers, uh, it's no good for Darwin and it's no good for our uh, China-Australia ties. So we need to finalise the review, we need to get some solid recommendations and we need to give all of the parties uh, certainty into the future so that they can they can move on and actually get all the opportunities that I'm in Darwin at the moment a fantastic place brimming with opportunity uh, but issues like this just put a handbrake on anything that could happen and also at Perrin we're talking about this morning here on Sky News Breakfast about China stocking up on cheap Australian goat meat at less than three dollars a kilo and that cost is certainly down from nine dollars a kilogram in July last year. So more talk on exports across uh, into China and other parts of the world. Well, at least they're taking our goats. Um, you know, goats are often a pest, but they're also a very, very good and uh, solid uh, commodity. They're a great source of protein. Uh, but like any commodity, the prices fluctuate. And yes, China's uh, taking advantage of the cheap prices at the moment. Uh, those prices may turn around. Uh, and what we need to do is make sure that we've got good market access for our goats uh, right across the Asia Pacific. Uh, India is a, is a great um, a consumer of goat meat and we need to work with India to try and increase our, our trade with India and, and look for other market options for our goats which will increase the demand, which will increase the price. Uh, and then um, all of our, certainly in, in my state, in New South Wales, Western New South Wales, um, some people have made a great effort of turning what were pests into products and uh, a great profit-making arm of their farming enterprises. And what about the grain industry, what we're seeing overseas in the uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia situation? How are we looking in Australia in terms of our grain, including particular wheat? Well, um, you know, we don't ever want to dance on other people's uh, tragedy. And the fact that Russia has pulled out of the grain export agreement is an absolute tragedy for the 400 million odd people around the world that the Ukraine feeds. Uh, yes, it creates opportunity for Australia for our uh, high quality grain exports, but um, we can't fill that complete gap and it is a real crisis and we need to ensure, we need to try and get Russia back to the table because we need Ukraine to be able to export, not only to feed the world, to help us feed the world, but also to ensure that Ukraine continues to have that uh, economic um, activity, because at the moment, uh, you know, when there's a war, they need, they need something that they can rely on. But it is an opportunity for Australia, and, um, you know, we need to also make sure that we make the most of that opportunity. Uh, we need to also work on uh, getting our barley exports um, to 
continue to grow uh, and work with China. I, I will say it's been months since um, the Labor government put a pause on our uh, World Trade Organization claim against China for the barley tariffs and nothing has happened. China is still not taking our barley. We need the Labor government to actually say to China, unless you take action, unless you start accepting our barley again, we will restart that World Trade Organization claim against them. Heron Davey, Deputy Nationals Leader, thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day in Darwin. Thank you very much.